A lot of people believe that law develops primarily in Congress. Those people think that lawmaking in the United States is somewhat like an American football game, that there are plays, that the ball is hiked and that's when you pay attention is after the ball is hiked and before it's downed. And the between plays you can just sit around and relax and catch your breath and get ready for the next play. I don't think the, that lawmaking is like that. I think it's more like soccer. I think the ball is always in play. And there's no resting because when you rest is when the other side scores a goal. Service providers and the public need to be aware on how many different fronts the efforts are being made by the other side to restrict public choice, to restrict technologies, to impose limitations on freedom of design. Where we have established copyright owners, largely the motion picture studios and record labels and the like. In recent years, Congress has passed laws favoring the Hollywood establishment by increasing penalties, rights, uh, increasing copyright term. So their attention turns not to Congress, but to trade agreements and treaties, arguing that what is currently United States law must become a global minimum for laws around the world. And the effect of this is that even if these trade agreements and treaties don't restrict any law as it now exists in the United States, it actually restricts Congress's ability to improve the law by cutting back on some of the excesses of recent years. And so I would say right now, the trade agreements and treaties sought by the executive branch are where the action is.